Hi everyone, welcome back to our channel. Today, we are diving into an important update from Microsoft that affects users of Azure Control Delivery Network, especially the Azure CDN standard from Microsoft Classic. So if you are using this service or if you are planning your cloud strategy, you need to be aware of big changes coming soon. So why is Azure CDN Classic root writing? So here's the deal. Azure CDN standard from Microsoft Classic is being retired by September 30, 2027. Microsoft has introduced the newer Azure Front Door standard and premium tiers, which offer better features and more modern approach to content delivery. This decision is part of Microsoft's strategy to streamline their product offering, so the Classic CDN was more focused on the static content caching where the new front door tier are optimized for both static and dynamic content. Plus, they bring enhanced security features like bot management, private link integration, and advanced web application firewall, WAF enhancement. And this is really amazing. I have been testing this for a while. So what happens after this retirement? Once the classic CDN is retired, you will lose the ability to create or manage those classic CDN resources. You won't get update or support anymore from Microsoft, which we could leave your service exposed or outdated. So Microsoft recommend to do the migration and the steps are so easy. So the first step is to validate the compatibility. You need to go to your Azure CDN classic resource Look for the migration option, later prepare for migration. The third step is to start the migration and the fourth step is test your new setup. So today we are going to do the migration of these resources that we have created in an earlier video through Terraform. And in the next video, we'll see how to create um, a new static website hosted on storage account with this new profile on front door standard so as we said the first step is to go to our um, cdn profile classic all right you can see it right here and as you can see right here i have this information as a cdn standard from microsoft classic will be retired and you need to migrate all right so here we have our um our message as you can see and here once I click on that message, I will be directed to migration. So let me go back here to my endpoint. Okay. I click here on migration. All right. So as we said, the first step is to validate the compatibility first. So here inside this validate step, uh, you need to click on validate to see if your profile is compatible for migration. It is important to wait for the validation to finish so you can proceed with the next step. If there are any issue, Microsoft will show you a list of errors and how to fix them. So let's get started and let click validate. So this will uh, take a few seconds or minutes and we will see this together in order for you to see what will happen if you are going to start a migration. All right, so it is um, it's, it, it's good, actually, this is good. We have a, a great message. You, my profile is compatible for migration. And now the second part is prepare for migration. Once validated, you are ready to start preparing for migration. A few things to keep in mind here. Your front door profile will inherit the same name as the classic CDN profile. So you won't lose your configuration. This is the name I have been using for my website right now. And the new profile name will inherit the same name as you can see right here. This is one information. And uh, you, know, you need to make sure your endpoint name is within the limit. So if it is too long, you may need to adjust it. And um, geo-filtering rule will automatically be converted into a WAF rule. So if you have a geo-filtering rule, it will be converted to a um, web application firewall rule once you migrate. All right, so here, as you can see, we have two choices. We have the tier standard and we have the tier premium, all right? 
and uh, of course we can select the right uh, tier if you want to change and you can even change the po uh, endpoint name if you want from here so i will keep the same uh, endpoint name because this is hosting behind i'll help you i need to refresh my cache maybe Now after refreshing, I can see my um, my website running. So as I said here, so uh, let me go back here. We can uh, go through the standard tier or the premium tier. All right. So here I will go and will go uh, with the standard tier. I don't need uh, the premium tier for my static website. And here I will click on prepare. As you can see here. We have a new message. Do you want to proceed? A new front door profile and our WAF policy will be created. So if you have a geo, um, uh, geo filtering rule, it will uh, create or be converted, as we said, to a WAF policy. And this will prevent any further changes to your CDN classic configuration until you either complete or abort the migration process. So let's hit yes. As you can see, your new front door profile is being created and you need to stay on this page until these steps complete. So I will zoom out. I will keep this page like that. I will go back just to my resource group. And if I refresh in a few seconds, we will see that a front door profile will be created. All right. Um, yeah, we were in preparation, actually, not in uh, migration. So uh, your front door profile has been successfully created. All right. To verify your configuration, we can click on this. And let me just here. OK, cool. Cool. The new front door profile has been configured. Right now, we need to start the migration. So in my case, I didn't have any issue in the validation, validation or the preparation for migration. And right now I will go to migrate. So, so to start the migration after preparing everything, it is time right now to actually migrate. We can do this from the Azure portal. So uh, Microsoft has made the process so simple. You will just need to follow these screen prompts in order to start migration and the do during the migration your classic cdn resource will be copied over the azure front door so there is no need to worry about losing any data the process is designed to be smooth with minimal distribution to your service so let's hit migrate right now do you want to migrate your Azure CDN Classic profile? The CDN Classic profile will stop serving traffic once the migration has been propagated to our front door each location. All future configuration change will need to be done to the new inside the new front door profile. So let's hit yes. And as you can see, the migration is in process. Let's go here. It is better not to do any action inside the CDN profile that is existing. And we will wait for this migration to happen. So it may take a few minutes. All right. And after it, we will see if our website is still working or not. I may uh, stop recording for a few minutes because uh, it may take five to 10 minutes to do this. Okay, cool. So after almost 14 or 15 minutes, my profile was migrated. And as you can see here, we are inside the new uh, profile. Let me just go back to the resource group. And as you can see here, we don't have the endpoint of the CDN classic anymore but we have the front door and CDN profile right here. And if I click here, you can see that we have a global location here and it is active. And for the plan, as you can see here, what we have chosen is the standard plan. And I kept the same name that I have. During the migration, there was no downtime for my website. It was always functional. And 
if I go back here, we can look to our front door NCDM profile. As you can see here, we have the front door manager. Here we can see our routes. And if you have any security policy or WAF policy, you will see it right here. Here we can see the domain that we have, the domain associated to our uh, front door profile. And let's go here, we have the origin group. Here we have a rule set. We will discuss this in another video maybe. And here we have the security part and here the security policy. So we can, for example, here add a new security policy. Let's name it test. And here we choose one of the domains that we have or all the domains that we have. And here we don't have any UF policy. So here we don't have any UF policy. We need to create a new one. So we have demo 001. Uh, okay, must not have this. Okay. And we can click save. And later we can go and create or uh, update the WAF policy. So right now we're just adding one um, security rule and I will have to edit the WAF policy that will be attached to that um, security rule. As you can see here, we can add a managed identity. We can add, I have secrets. This is actually good. We can see the report from here. So how many data transferred? the peak bandwidth and the total request for the uh, domain. And this is pretty awesome, actually. So too many information that we can see here. We can even download this. We can see the usage. We can see the traffic by location. We can see the cache and the top um, visited URLs, top refer and top user agent, all right? So I'm visiting my website from my iPhone and from my uh, browser here. And as you can see here, the iPhone that I'm using to browse this website. Cool. Let me go back here to security policy. Here you can see that we have created a front door security policy and this is the WAF policy and it is applied for these domains. So here, if I go inside this, you can see it is, uh, you can disable this. We can switch to prevention mode because right now, let me just hit this. So I just hit this because there is audit mode and there is prevention mode. I just hit switch prevention mode. And here we can add custom rule. For example, let me click here, add custom rule. And here, for example, let's say uh, location. And we can say enable it, rule type uh, match, a priority, let's say one. And here, if, for example, Joel is your location, um, is not, is not, for example, let me scroll a bit here down. So it's not France or not Tunisia, it will be blocked. So the traffic will be only working inside um, for anyone visiting this website from only these two countries, else the traffic will be blocked. Oh, um, I have the another operation, which is, um, yes, I have been updating the uh, prevention mode, uh, so it, you cannot do um, two operation in the same time. So this was the, the goal of um, this uh, video is to show you how to do the migration. So it will take between 10, 40 minutes in order to migrate. During that time, your website will be up to date and you will be redirected to the, um, a new uh, front door profile. Uh, at this, and you will see this message, this front door profile was migrated from classic CDN endpoint. So I will put some URLs uh, below this video. If you have any question, do not forget, uh, do not hesitate to uh, mention me and uh, ask me anything. And I hope this was helpful and uh, will help you to be ready for your migration and assure you that it will be so easy. Thank you and have a great day.